Hey everyone, welcome back to another PlayStation Platinum video. I know it's been like a month now since I did the God of War video. I was trying to figure out a plan on how to do two Platinums a month. Because that's what I wanted to do. But after playing the Mafia game, I think I kind of want to like not do that. Because this game was a grind. It was like tedious as hell. I, I don't know what to say. I loved the game. Just know I was not going for the Platinum to begin with. But then at this point I just thought why not get it done with. Because it was a great game and I like to do games I enjoy. And this was one of those games I enjoyed. And I cannot lie to you. This game is amazing. It's amazing. But the trophies are devious. Whoever made the trophies or whoever did the classic difficulty trophies. I hate you. The classic difficulty was a horrible. Only because of one mission though. That racing mission can... You guys know the racing mission, I hate it. Despise it. But yeah guys, this is about this is about the Mafia Definitive Edition Platinum. Please note there will be spoilers for the story in this um video. So if you've not played the game yet, it's on PS Plus. Go play it. Great game. Also to note, I have not played Mafia 1. I mean I've not played the original Mafia. I've not played Mafia 2 and I've not played Mafia 3. So this was like my fresh take on Mafia. Like I'd never played the game before. I never even heard of it to be honest, but I thought, why not try it out? And I enjoyed it. So, without further ado, guys, if you guys do enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, appreciate it. Let's get into the Platinum Journey. You abuse my trust, Don Salieri. You won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Alright, to begin, I'm going to quickly flash on screen all the trophies I got during the story mode of the game. Uh, surprisingly, I got 32 trophies in the story mode. I don't know how, but just playing the game, I got 32 trophies. I don't know how, don't know who. That means I was only missing 12 trophies. 12 trophies is all I was missing. And to, to be honest, they were the more tedious ones. Collecting stuff, uh, mainly collecting stuff and playing on the hard difficulty. Which was annoying. So, on screen, you're currently seeing all of my trophies I got during the story mode. Which is 32, so a lot of trophies. Uh, now that you've seen them, we're going to move on to the tro first trophy I got after I finished the story mode. So after finishing the story mode, I decided to go for all the hidden cars. There's only five of them, so I thought, why not? And that's why I got my first trophy, which was on the trail. Which is for basically finding a car, finding a hidden car. And it's like five, so you can find any one of those five hidden cars and you will get the trophy instantly. Repeat, abandon search. Return to patrol. <laughs> And obviously, after collecting one hidden car, I had to go for them all. So I went and collected all the hidden cars for the trophy. Car theft number... Car thief number one, I think it's called. I thought it was car theft, my bad. But it's car thief number one. Trophy is not hard. This is a really not a hard trophy. It's so simple. Go to point A to point B, collect five cars, and you get a trophy. And surprisingly, all of them are in like relatively close spots. I mean, there's one that's all, all the way outside the map, which is horrible to go to, but it's not bad. This is very simple to do. And also, since I was on a collection streak, since I collected the cars, I thought, why not, I'll start collecting all the miscellaneous things, which, can't lie, was kind of like the bulk of the Platinum, in my opinion. I mean, yeah, you got story trophies, which is like 32 of story trophies, which is a lot. But these trophies, these, these collectibles were not fun to collect. I mean, some were, I'm not gonna lie, the foxes were pretty fun, even though I thought they were tedious, I just found, I kind of I found them fun, I was weird. But, um, so I went and first thought, why not collect the cigarette cards to get full pack trophy, the full pack trophy. Which, I was only missing two after finishing the story, so it was really easy to do. I just had to go to two locations and get it done. Very, very easy, surprisingly. And if you couldn't tell already, what do you think I did after I finished collecting the cigarette cards? I went and finished collecting the comic books. 
which got me the tro which would have given me the trophy picture book connoisseur this one is also very simple i, al I already had five coin books so i just had to go collect five more very simple trophy and not to bore you but let's just get into when i collect the trophy because the collectibles are kind of boring in this game So, now that I have all the cigarette cards and all the comics, what do you think I decided to do? I decided to go for all the mystery foxes because I thought that would be the most annoyingest part of the Platinum experience, basically. But, surprisingly, getting these mystery foxes were surprisingly, like, relaxing. I was going around, just listening to music and driving around and it was, pretty, it was a pretty fun experience. So, just get started on the mystery fox collection, I got the trophy mystery fox discovered which you get for basically collecting your first mystery fox which is the same as like collecting your first cigarette card your first coin book it's pretty really easy trophy and i surprisingly i missed it throughout my entire story i did not find a single mystery fox throughout my entire story it's kind of funny come on fellas push through <laughs> Alright, so let me tell you about these stupid foxes. I don't know who decided to put these in the game. I hate them because, as I said before, I did find it relaxing getting these foxes. It's just that they were really tedious. And I mean, it took me, if you want to know how long it took me, because I, I did this all in, I did all the foxes in one sitting. I got them all in a single, basically like two hour sitting. So I was sitting for two hours, listen to music collecting these foxes and i mean it was relaxing i'm telling you that it was pretty it was pretty sitting there just driving around collecting these foxes but am i telling you on some of them were really annoying there was one i don't know which one it was but it was one where you had to basically like stand on the side of a cliff sounds bad side of like a little cliff and then jump down precisely where you land on this cliff and pick up the fox but the way they placed it is that you, if you mess up you basically just fall to your death I fell to my death like once, and then once after I fell to my death, I kind of just went and got it. It was pretty simple after that. But yeah, they're not hard to get, like they are very easy. Like if you have a guide, I, I use the guide for every single collectible. I'm not looking by myself. I know some people don't like doing that, but I just, I'm not like that. And I just um, touched the guide and I got them done in two hours. Yeah, they're not that hard. They're very, very easy. And if you want to get yourself these, I would say go for these straight away. After you finish the story, in my opinion, I didn't because I didn't want to, but I decided to go for them as quick as I could because I kind of wanted to get them out of the way because they are really annoying. But yeah, um, doing all the getting all of the mystery foxes actually gives you the mystery fox dominion, the dom dominated trophy. Pretty, pretty cool, I guess. So after collecting all the mystery foxes, I only had basically two last collectible trophies left. Well, actually three, if you think about it. But um, this one was basically another easy one, kind of. It's just collecting stuff around the map, which was just collect all the pulp magazines. I purposely left this one for the last because I knew it'd be annoying. Because I had to go collect not just one set of magazines, but an entire four rows of magazines. Why? I don't even know myself, because I did not like doing it. This is one which I thought I would not like doing the mystery foxes, but these ones were horrible. And basically this will give me two two different sets of trophies. Uh, it should give me the Lending Library trophy and also the Whole Story trophy. There's both of those trophies. Lending Library is for basically getting all the pulp magazines. And if you couldn't guess, the Whole Story is for getting all the collectibles and getting your collectible thing to 100%, which is very easy to do. So yeah, let's get it. Where are all these guys come? We are now getting close to the end of our trophy collection and so really all i had left to do now throughout the collectible sides of things was basically just collect 30 cars and put them into my into my garage which in hindsight it sounds not that bad but when i tell you this trophy is is really like annoying 
it's annoying. So basically, you should end the game around 26, 27 cars. That's for how I ended my story, but 26 cars in my garage. And to get the last five to four, I had to basically do these, these phone booth challenges. And when I tell you these challenges are annoying, they are annoying. They can range to you having to use a motorcycle that's really hard to steer and go into checkpoints or take cars like on screen right now, which I'm using a racing car, take it to point A to point B, keep switching it, and this that, that, that one phone book took me like 20 minutes. It was so annoying. And in the end, you will get yourself the Motor Museum trophy, which is not, it's not that hard, but it's just really annoying. And that's, that was like the last collectible trophy I had left. I only have two more trophies left. We are in the end game. Could you guess what the two trophies were? Well, let me tell you. Well, basically, one was called Man Made, which I had to basically finish the game in classic, in the classic difficulty, which is not hard to do. Well, actually, let me, let me rephrase that. This is the worst difficulty to ever exist. Only because of one mission. The mission in the fair, is it called Fair Day, I think it's called? The race mission. On classic, that mission, it killed me. That mission killed me. I was, I think, for basically four to three hours doing that mission. And I tell you, when I passed that mission, I felt, I don't know what I felt. That sh that was, it was, it was amazing. Let me just, let me just play my reaction to winning that race for you guys because of how much I need to show you guys that. All I'm going to say, that race, that entire race, it can die. It can just, 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 whoever, whoever made it, I hate you. I, I hate you. Like, I want to kill you. But other than that, I, um, when I first did it, I thought it was hard, but then, uh, I put some music in the background. Shout out to Juice World's Conversations. I don't know why, but that song was, like, the one that got me to win the race. And I literally started listening to it, and then, what did I know? I was winning the race, and I was like, oh, that's crazy. Shout out, that song is fire, though. As you can see, I had rage, as in, I, <laughs> the rage at the beginning of that clip was funny to me. And also the fact that I kept shouting out a song. Because I, I won the race, which was kind of crazy, in my opinion. I don't know why I did that. But past this part, it was kind of smooth sailing. And I could get my last achievement, actually, during this level. Which was basically called Not Classy. Which was basically to take Pauly to another location. Uh, during the actual mission, if you've not played it before, you have to basically... After you finish the mission, Pauly's drunk, you need to take him back to his house. But basically, at the end of the mission, you're allowed to actually take him somewhere else. It doesn't tell you where to go. You have to actually figure it out for yourself. Because he tells you he wants to go to a... Uh, let's just say he wants to go to a, a place to, my, to meet nice women. Okay? And basically, your goal is basically just take him there. And that will give you the trophy. Surprisingly, it only has 4.3% of people who have it. Which is kind of crazy. Because, I mean, I don't think people even know how to do it. But yeah, once I got this trophy, I only had to get one more. Which was, after that, was pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it's a blue sign at the end of the street it says Blue Tropics. Looks like a game. <laughs> That's it. That's the place. See? A blue sign. Girl, it's me, Polly. Just want to apologize if it seems like I'm taking making the video very fast or, you know, not going for everything at like snail's pace. It's just that, like, I kind of want to get through it because I will admit there's a lot of collectibles and half the video is just talking about collectibles and I don't want to bore you guys with that. So I'm just trying to take it as quick as I can. So if it seems like it's either being prolonged or it's taking forever, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to go through it as fast as I can. So here we are onto the final trophy, Man Made, which is to beat the game on class difficulty. And as much as I want to say to you guys how much this trophy killed me, Mentally, I want to get through the video without having to mention how bad this difficulty is. Uh, yeah, I did. There were some hiccups, especially with um, a trip to the country. If you guys want to, I'm gonna name some of the ones that that annoyed me. A trip to the country, a murder, um, happy birthday, election day, and this another one. Uh, I think the last one was the last one called Art of Death. That one as well. They all annoyed me. So, without making this video prolonged even more, let's just skip to my reaction to getting the Platinum Trophy. Alright guys, 
here we are. Back to the end again. Uh, so... Weirdly, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this in the recording, but... I beat this game again in technically a day. I don't know if it's because I was using skip drive or because I kept sk skipping cutscenes or I'm just apparently really good. But if I didn't do that, that, dr that driving mission, like, there, I'd have been done. But yeah, just as, let's just go and see Sam, because we know he betrays us anyway. 12 seconds later. Alright guys, this should be the end now of the game. I just gotta kill Sam, and once I kill Sam... Once I kill Sam, the game should just give me my trophy and we should be done with this. But for some reason, Sam has like the most health I've ever seen in my life. I just tried, I've tried killing him. This is like my third attempt. Oh, let's go. Trophy. Should appear. In a few minutes. Trophy! Man-made! Platinum. Platinum. The original gangster. So yeah, guys. There you go. The Platinum for Mafia Definitive Edition. So I'm just going to quickly answer the question for anyone who's wondering. Should you Platinum this game? Well, it's yes and a no for me. See, the thing is, if you're into collecting stuff, then go for it. If you're into playing the hardest difficulty of a game, if you're in for like a basically, if you're in for, if you like... If you like hard platinums, then go for it. But if you are if you're a person who likes to go for doesn't really like challenging, just likes to go for easy stuff, I wouldn't recommend it to be honest. It's it's a pretty challenging platinum in my opinion. And I know people are probably gonna contradict me saying, but it's not that hard, you're just not good at the game. Yeah, I'm probably am, but I don't know. I found it hard in my opinion. But yeah, hope you did enjoy. Hopefully this video wasn't prolonged as much as I hoped it was. And also, as I said in the, the recording yeah, I beat this game on class difficulty in a day. I don't know how I did. I'm just apparently really good at the game. If you guys didn't make it this far into the video, please comment Tedious and Mafia. And so I know you made it this far into the video. I mean, if you watched 70 minutes of me talking about Mafia, the Definitive Edition, then that deserves a medal. I don't know, because I don't think I could sit for myself talking. But yeah, hope you all did enjoy. I am working on platinuming some more games. There probably going to be some easy ones. I'm also working on a very easy platinum. I don't know if any of you can guess what it is, but it should be coming out at some point, either in March, because I'm not doing it in the next week. Maybe I will. I don't know. So I'm very unpredictable. But I hope you all did enjoy, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.